reading Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good, good book to read Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good And we are your new thinkers for Miss Noel's class. Everyone please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch is corn dog, nuggets, cheeseburger, or yogurt and cheese plate. Side items include butter, beans, and carrots, or seasoned potato wedges. Fruit is also available. Here's Ms. Kersinger with Media News. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have been reading over the weekend. I have new AR totals for you. Um, we made 124 points on Friday, so that brought our total up to 970 points for the week. We were below that 1,006 points the week before. So um, I noticed some students in the Media Center this morning taking tests. They were telling me about it and getting, getting 90s and 100s. So way to go, Trailblazers. Keep on reading. Um, We'll zoom in on our, our new totals. We um, are almost halfway to our school goal for the year. We're, I, think, I believe we're going to make it. I really do. Um, yes, in the nine weeks, we have 6,610 points. We are down still for this nine weeks. 3,890 points. We've been averaging 1,000 points a week. So um, if you guys bump it up just a little bit. We have, what, about three weeks left of this nine weeks. So I really believe that we can do it. So keep on reading Trailblazers. And if you do, Mrs. Keltner has said that we could have some kind of treat if we make our third nine weeks goal. So keep on reading. Um, special announcement about next week. We have Read Across America Week going on next week on Friday. We'll let you know what's going to be happening for next week. Okay? Keep on reading Trailblazers and have a fabulous day. Now let's go to Ms. Keltner and Dr. Paul for a few announcements. Good morning, morning Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Happy Monday. Monday. Starting a fresh week. I feel yes, rejuvenated. I was at a yes. soccer tournament all weekend. It was good to get out of town a little bit. How I, about you? I had lots of fun this weekend with my, my little bitty baby singing their little hearts out. Yeah. It was just a busy weekend, but I really did enjoy it. All ready to go for a new Monday. Yes, we are. And you know, oh, let's do the most important news of the day first. Uh, Sorry. Speaking of a new Monday, we got quite a few birthdays today. We have Savannah Chambers. Devin Huber, Sean Mullins, Connor Whitney, and Ashley Whitten. Happy birthday. Come Happy on down birthday, to the front Travis. office. We're celebrating with you. Always, always. All right, and on my calendar, it looks pretty free today <laughs> and tomorrow, so we're just hard working and reading mm -hmm. here at DeSoto Trail. Uh, Wednesday, teacher's reminder, we're going to celebrate Miss Hodge's upcoming nuptials with a That's bridal right. shower yes. after school. Third grade, you're getting ready for your field trip this Thursday and Friday to Bear Creek. I know you guys are kind of splitting um, your grade level, so have fun. And if you're hungry for some pizza and good sandwiches and salads <laughs> at Red Elephant, we have a share night coming up Thursday night, so hope oh. to see you there. Uh, those are all the important news um, items on my calendar. But Trailblazers, guess what? Do you remember Mr. Dennard who was here from IMG Sports last Tuesday? He was our guest speaker at All Pro Dad. He emailed me late Friday and said, hey, I can give every one of your Trailblazers a free ticket to the women's basketball game this Thursday night. Ah. So if you're interested, let me know. I'm going to send a listserv out. As soon as I get the tickets in hand, hopefully today or tomorrow, I will send a listserv out and let your parents know that they can mm -hmm. come in first serve, um, first come, first serve, pick those up from the front office. So let's go cheer on our Lady Knowles wow. this Thursday. It's our last home game. And I had an announcement about a special Trailblazer at Mini you, but I am going to hold off on that announcement because Miss Rockenstein is here with a large group mm. of participants from Mini Mew. And so moving on to our Black History trivia um, fact for today, baseball catcher Elston Jean Howard was born in St. Louis. 
Missouri in 1965. He signed a $70,000 contract, $70, dollars contract with the New York Yankees and became the highest paid player in the history of baseball at the time in 1929. Wow. wow. $70,000. Boy, haven't the salary caps changed a lot? Oh, oh that was goodness. a lot of money back yeah. then, but nowadays <laughs> uh. they're making millions <laughs> i dare i say 70 million i don't know but uh that's yeah oh, that was a lot of money back in the a 1920s lot, yeah. especially with the, um you know the where our country was at that time yes, and coming out of the yeah, depression, depression and things you know. so all right and things else? weren't that expensive no that they weren't either I think that was when, what, bread might have been three cents a loaf or, I mean, yeah, totally <laughs> oh, those days. different. Ah. The old days, the good old days, mm -hmm. as our grandparents would say. All right. Uh, anything me. else? All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go back over to the news team. Happy Monday, Trailblazers. This is Rockenstein with Mini Moon News. Good morning, boys and girls. We had an incredible weekend at Mini Mew this weekend. <gasps> We had 15 participants at Mini Mew. Each of them earned a certificate, so, show, so they can show those off for you. If you see one of these guys in the, in the hallway today, give them a pat on the back. They did an amazing job. Um, also today, we had um, Kristen White, who couldn't be here to get her certificate, and Amelia Simone are not up here this morning to get their certificates, but when you see them, give them a high five, too. We have some incredible news. Kristen White, who couldn't be here, scored the top student in fourth grade for DeSoto Trail. <laughs> and the top student in fifth grade for DeSoto Trail is Matthias Garrett. Yeah. Right. Congratulations. A medal for you, sir. And this is actually some really big news because this student stood up on the stage while they called out the top 20 students. And then while well, they called out the top 15 students, and then they called out the top 10 students, and he scored number seven in Leon County. Congratulations to Nicholas Wilson. All right, so if you see these guys in the hallway, give them a high five and a pat on the back. Back to the news team. Yeah. That's, That's it for today's, today's edition of WDTS. Have a rock solid day, Trailblazers. Bye. Bye.